You now spend most of your time coaching executives, founders, investors, uh, all people that perform at a very high level. You know, I think most people would say from the outset looking in, but these are people that uh, want to perform at an even higher level. They're maybe facing a big challenge in the business that they're running. They're going through a big evolution uh, in the startup that they're managing or their career is changing. And so I want to ask a couple questions around peak performance uh, for, you know, people that are already performing really well. And, and one of those, uh, I want to ask a couple that are specific to you. One of them that I wanted to ask was, um, if people listening could shadow you for a day, they could, you know, kind of as creepy as it might be, be with you when you wake up all the way until you end your day and just be a fly on the wall as you're going through your day. What do you think they might be surprised by in terms of habits, routines, the way you work, you know, how scheduled you are, how not scheduled you are? Just if someone was from the outside looking in on your day to day schedule, what might they find remarkable and interesting? I love this. One of my, you know, one of these things, if I could clone myself and one of these clones could be a television producer, the show that I would love to watch that in my mind does not exist would be Shadow, is that you shadow someone for a day. And this could be someone who, you know, they own a pizza parlor or a laundromat or a, I guess I keep coming up with food examples. I haven't had food that had lunch yet. Could be a like factory foreman. It could be a race car driver. The, the, the opportunities are endless, but there's so much to be learned from this day in a life because observation, there's quite so many questions that you wouldn't even think to ask until you see someone do it. And this is, this is, again, one of my fantasies that I would love to do as a service is I would love to fly to my client's house and just see where their desk is, see where their bed is. Again, not because like I have this super curious about where they live, but you, there's so much that can be learned only through observation versus what someone tells you. There'd be a lot of like really quick optimizations that I can make. Also, I would learn a lot more about what they find is important by the way they set up their setup, all that type of stuff. Putting that aside for for a moment, I think the thing that would most surprise people who watch me for the day, the word that comes to mind is simplicity. I am very, very simple in the way that I do things. Simple in a, I would say more of a, a Japanese sense of a stripping away all unnecessary complexity, trying to streamline and make everything as easy as possible. So people, you know, assume, hey, I've been obsessed about productivity and performance professionally for six years, unprofessionally for much longer than that. And they would say, oh, you, you know, my notes are, I have this like yellow notepad sitting next to me and I'm just writing things on it as it comes to mind. I don't have a really crazy second brain type thing where I'm detailing everything that I've ever said, or they see things like, my habits and be relatively like basic, but things that I can do consistently every day, no matter where I am, no matter what tools that I have, I don't need these super robust systems because a key lesson that I have found over the years is that the more complexity you create, the more fragility that goes along with it. And that there's these maintenance costs with any system that you need to just put more and more input into the system just to can keep getting the same level of value out of it. Anyone who's worked in a startup, um, particularly in a technical side, is very familiar with this concept of technical debt. And I think this is very true in terms of systems debt and habit debt, is that if you aren't maintaining your systems, they will become more and more obsolete, more relevant over time. So the secret to keeping things very, very simple and streamlined is that I can stay consistent and when I fall off, like everyone in the entire world does, it makes it very easy to get right back onto the horse. So yeah, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't do very well in these like Casey Neistat type videos of like, wow, like what a crazy routine and like that how do you fit all those things into a day? It's pretty straightforward, but there's a lot of an intention and thought because I find that there's nothing that beats compound interest. And what I'm really optimizing for is having a really, really long timeline of compounding. 